He set out that day. He'd just come home from a long prison stint. He had a very young child and was trying to get his life back in order. He stood tall and his platinum grill shined when he smiled. He'd commissioned a red leather vest and black shorts to pair with his red Cadillac slab with black trim. I had gotten to know him over the course of several months and thought he was a bit of an oddball. But he seemed different that day. And I felt different. I had an emotional investment in cars long before I founded the Houston Slab Parade and Family Festival. As a kid, I loved sitting on the trunk of my grandfather's blue Cadillac, El Dorado, watching him impart a unique brand of wisdom. He seemed like a giant sitting next to me, confident, strong. I was enamored with the sound system in my uncle's black Cadillac. My most vivid memory is a car that wasn't even operational. It was a white Oldsmobile 88 that belonged to my grandmother, who died before I was born. It sat in my grandfather's driveway, symbolizing loss, but also life. Our neighborhood was dilapidated homes, crumpling storefronts, and a park where drug dealers worked and kids didn't play. But the cars were pristine. They were strong. They shined. They roared. There were hundreds of cars there that afternoon. Some were relatively modest. Others looked more like futuristic, space-age weaponry than anything you would see on the road. Works of art. More than the cars, I remember how regal the owners looked. My friend Jermaine, who was attempting to distance himself from the streets, owned a white Cadillac slab with a ruby encrusted crown resting in the back seat. BG's blue Jaguar was like a chariot carrying his young prince and princess. Whenever I think about the parade, I think about him. He stood like a king in front of his throne. How proud he was to help organize the parade. How proud I think he'll be to drive his slab again when he's released from prison. How proud I am watching my community, watching my life.